All right, Lakeland School Committee, this is your assistant superintendent, Mr. Novak. Today is cold, but today is Friday, May 8th. It's a Lancer Day. Listen, if you are somebody who is beginning to fall behind, especially seniors, especially in those classes that you need to succeed in which to graduate, use the Lancer Days effectively. We're in quarter four. We're not stopping, right? School buildings are closed. School's not. We're still going to continue on with virtual learning. So I'm challenging you, I'm imploring you to use these Lancer days the way that they're intended. Get clarification, get your feet underneath you, uh, seek out your teachers if you need any extra help. That's what they're there for. They are accommodating wonderful human beings and they're going to continue to be throughout this entire closure. I got a, a weather alert on my phone just a little while ago when I first started to record. There's a freeze warning tonight which is crazy. It is, it is May 8th. Uh, another, just a, a really quick, quick story. So if anybody watched the video yesterday, I had a very small rea uh, interaction with my neighbor. And, you know, he asked, you know, what am, what am I doing? Uh, he, he's been, I, I, I follow the same path that I walk every single day. I walk past my house and I walk down a hill and, you know, I go to this, this park that's not necessarily off limits, but it might be. And, um, you know, I walk on a trail around here, I do a little bit of a quick loop, you know, in the woods. And then eventually I get back to my house um, through my backyard. And he, uh, he found our YouTube page and uh, he sent me a text yesterday and he said, hey, I, to be honest with you, I was a little worried about you because I saw you walking around kind of talking to the air with two phones in your hand. Uh, I have my, my, my earbuds in, so I'm using <laughs> the video that way. So, uh, yeah, he, he was a little bit concerned for me, but now he's a little bit less concerned for me. All right, guys, two weeks, number one. Here's your schedule for the next two weeks. Ready? Monday, May 11th is a B day. Tuesday, the 12th is an A day. Wednesday, the 13th is a B day. Thursday, the 14th is an A day. Friday, May 15th, it's another Lancer day. We don't have that many left, believe it or not, guys. It's not that many weeks of school until the end of the year. So just make sure you're continuing to work and do these Lancer days the way that they're intended. Monday, May 18th is a B day. Tuesday, May 19th is an A day. Wednesday, May 20th is a B day. Thursday, May 21st is an A day. And then Friday, May 27th, leading into Memorial Day, is a Lancer day. Like we said a little bit earlier on, we are making some modifications to the school calendar. Nothing is going to be official until it's board approved on Tuesday evening. Once we have that board approved, we will pass it out to everybody and it will include um, a day by day breakdown of A days, B days, and Lancer days. Number two, AP exams are coming up next week. Allow me to speak on behalf of the entire staff of Lakeland Regional High School, AP students. We, with you, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. You're going to do phenomenal. You're in very good hands. Our AP teachers are second to none. All of our teachers are, but our AP teachers are second to none. And I know that you're going to be prepared for the AP exam, especially knowing that it is a totally different assessment. As a former AP teacher, and I live with an AP teacher right now, my wife teaches AP European History at Ridgewood High School, and I can tell you that she is working her tail off in order to prepare her students for a modified AP exam. Listen, for our AP students, if you have any questions, the day of the AP exam, Miss Ross, Miss Tara Ross in the counseling department is your contact. She is our AP coordinator. She does a great job of doing that. So if you have any questions the day of the AP exam, if you're having any issues whatsoever, meet, uh, reach out to Miss Ross. It, it's a little bit improper to contact your teacher the day of the AP exam, especially during the AP exam window. So please meet, uh, reach out to Miss Ross. If you accidentally close, I'm reading verbatim. If you accidentally close your browser, your device crashes, you temporarily lose internet access, you can quickly click your exam e-ticket again to return to your exam. Continue the exam. And if you feel at the end of the exam that your temporary disruption negatively impacted your performance, you can request approval to take the makeup exam. In my message today, there's gonna to be the email address. During the exam, don't refresh your browser, don't hit the back arrow, um, don't call the customer service center, it won't be open due to the pandemic. If you lost too much time due to a technical problem, you have the ability to take a makeup exam. Please just read that bolded sentence that Ms. Ross included in our daily address. Uh, going back to what Ms. Mazza and Dr. Finkelstein said yesterday, if you are a student who unfortunately still has points, check your uh, email every Wednesday. We're trying to provide students with uh, you know, social emotional learning opportunities to eliminate those pesky points that you've accumulated over the year up until we got to the closure. Uh, number four, this is going to be my last announcement for today. 
Um, tonight, this Friday evening at 8.20, which is 20.20 military time, we will be honoring our senior class by letting up the stadium and scoreboard for 20 minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, as Mr. Yost wrote so eloquently yesterday, our collective hearts are broken, but we will celebrate their, meaning your, past and future by lighting up the sky. Again, well said and well written by Mr. Yost. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions. Is it okay for us to turn out to this? Is this something that we're expected to turn out to? Listen, the, the governor's orders, this is happening all across the country, by the way. This isn't something that's unique to Lakeland Regional High School. I wish, you know, we can say we, we came up with this idea, that we, but we didn't. We're just following along in a national trend. Um, you know, are you, are, are you expected to turn out to this tonight? No, you're not expected to turn out to this tonight at all. Are you required to be there? No, absolutely not. Uh, this is just something that we're doing to honor our senior class. Um, you know, ultimately, when push comes to shove, the governor's executive orders are still in effect. So please just make sure that you're continuing. Somebody driving up on me now. Um, just please make sure you're continuing to follow the governor's executive orders. The only reason we're doing this tonight, again, just to provide a uh, memorial to, uh, to those seniors um, who have had, you know, their, your senior year kind of taken away from you. And then my hashtag, your community school challenge for today phone call my hashtag your community school challenge for today is simply this tough times don't last but tough people do and it sounds like such a cliche but it's totally true did not mean for that to run there's a there's a gentleman out he's a ridgewood fixture his name is, is coach stroker and uh i referenced and, and linked one of his emails or one of his youtube addresses previously and the fact that i have more followers than him frankly is, is insanity because you listen to what he has to say as a coach who has been you know motivating people for over 30 years and it's incredible the reason that I put these videos together early on is not to motivate our school community or pass along any words of wisdom I, I, I don't feel qualified to do that although I'm, I'm happy to do so at this point because this is kind of what this has turned into and I'm, I'm totally fine with that in one of his videos he talks about the secret sauce for success and then he goes on to talk about and explain exactly what he means by tough people last but tough times don't and basically he talks about the fact that when there's an adverse situation the people who stay truest to themselves who know themselves best are the ones who are the most effective and the ones who continually get through these very difficult times he talks about making sure that you're calm and practicing these sorts of things so my hashtag your community school challenge is this for this weekend um, it's Mother's Day on Monday uh, Sunday excuse me happy Mother's Day to everybody who's out but you know, the weather on Saturday is gonna be awful find a quiet place if you can find one and just practice being calm and listen to your mind and get in touch with your feelings and I think that that will help you to understand who you are because you're going to face adverse situations. You're going to fa face adverse people throughout your life. You're going to face critics. You're going to face supporters and everything else. And the most successful people, in Coach Stroker's opinion, and in my opinion too, are those people who stay true to themselves and don't allow outside factors and outside noise to impact who they are in their core. So that's my hashtag, your community school challenge. We are certainly in tough times, and I know Lancers, you're tough people, and you're going to get through this. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great weekend. Happy Mother's Day again to all the moms out there. Miss you guys. Love you. See you soon.